Good morning. My name is Brandi Quintero, and the purpose of this broadcast is to share a little bit about Reading Plus and what reports I use and how those reports help student learning. So I will be going to the Reading Plus platform and using their screens to show that to you. So when a teacher logs in, this is their homepage. This is what they see. Um, and what I do is I use the actions. Um, I use this every day. Um, I look to see the students who are struggling, if I have any alerts, um, and students who need rewards, um, awards. Um, that means they finished a level, they're ready to move on. And the program will let them move on without me acknowledging it. But it, by me acknowledging it, let's, just reminds the students that my teacher's watching, they know what I'm doing, and they're proud of what I'm doing. Um, and then if a student has inboxed me, I'm able to check that out. Um, this student, the action, they had finished a level. Um, so I was able to click on it. I was able to acknowledge it, say congratulations, and they will see this now on their site. Um, so that's what I do every single day. The next thing that I do every single day is I go to reports and I pull up the progress report. The progress report lets me see how students are progressing um, or if they're not progressing. I can see that at a glance. Um, and I do show this to students. This is usually up on the overhead when it, they come in. And um, I don't stay up for long, but it allows me to go down and quickly just say, hey, uh, you have two more combos. You're doing great. Let's 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 do see some movement today. You only have one more combo. You could possibly move today. And so I just kind of scroll down, go do it fast, and I'm able to give um, that feedback to them. And it really, I would say, motivates them. Um, I also can filter this over here. Um, you can see I can filter by classes. I can change a report for a particular class. But for each report, I can do a different time period. And so um, if we've really been focusing on something, um, trying to improve, for example, this class is a summer reading class. Well, it's an AP class. Um, and so they're doing their summer reading through Reading Plus. And so I can pull this up and I can see who's been doing their reading for the last four weeks and who's not even logged on for the last four weeks. Um, I can see how they're progressing on their stories. So this is also a helpful report. Um, the other progress report just let me see for the whole year. Um, and this one, let, when I filter it by time period, I'm able to see um, for a specific time period. Um, a report that I use at the beginning of the year is the screening report. It allows me to see the students who are already reading at grade level and speed, and the students who are comprehending at the correct grade level, but their speed isn't quite there, um, the students who are uh, not at grade level for comprehension or speed, and students who have the speed but don't have the comprehension. So for this student, I might be really monitoring um, them to see, hey, do we need to lower your speed a little bit so that we can increase your comprehension? Um, and then as as we go throughout the year, we're able to take um, different benchmarks and see improvement. Um, and so you can see right there, that's where they were. So that slowly is moving over. And then that's within the one year growth. Um, so that's what I do at the beginning of the year. And every once in a while, I'll just remind myself. Um, and then I do it when we give the benchmarks, benchmark two and benchmark three. I also go to look and see what the movement is going on. The benchmarks are different than what they do on a daily basis because it takes away the supports. They're not able to use rereads. They're, um, they're not able to uh, ask for help from the teacher. So it takes away some of the supports and, and see, hey, the skills that we've been learning throughout the year, are they working? Um, another daily report that I use is, um, sorry, the skill summary report. Um, the skill summary report allows me to see how students are doing on specific anchor standards. And I can hover right here over the number, and that's close reading, main idea and themes, interaction of ideas. I think this one's vocabulary, use of language. And so again, I can filter this by all weeks. I can see how they've been doing the whole year. Or they've been working on it for four weeks. I can see um, how those students have been doing on those for the last four weeks. Um, if I want a little more information, I can go to skills group. And it lets me know which students are struggling with which specific skills. So under close reading, um, all of these students are, are stuck struggling or not performing as well as they should under explicit details. Um, this allows me to make 
uh, create like a mini group within my room, um, do some explicit teaching, um, direct teaching, and hopefully help them understand what this what this standard is asking them to do and maybe why they're missing those questions and what they should change. Um, I can also assign them a skills coach lesson. So this is um, outside of the actual Reading Plus, but I can assign them one of these lessons. Um, so identifying explicit details. Um, and then when they click on it, um, there is an overview and they can watch the overview. There's a tutorial and there's practice. And I also train my students on how to take notes when they're doing this. Um, so they don't necessarily have to wait for me to give them the notes for it, but they can do it by themselves. And there's two different levels of basic and intermediate. If a student's really struggling, scoring 40, 50%, I'm going to have them do basic. If a student like, sometimes has it, sometimes not, I might have them just do intermediate because um, they're just missing something little with it. Um, but this is a great tool for students to use, and I'm able to see who needs to use it by looking at the skills group report. Um, this I don't share with students. Um, the only one I do share is the progress, and then, of course, students who are making progress, we always award those. Um, what students see is this is their home page. Um, they're able to start lessons. They can automatically see their reading rate, number of words they've read, um, and the number of stories they've read. This happens to be my uh, profile, so I haven't read very many stories. Um, and then as they scroll down, it lets them see how they're moving on. So I'm reading 291. Um, and even though that's a lot of words, for me, that's just the beginning point. So I'm supposed to be moving a little bit higher. Um, and then it lets me see my stories, uh, how I'm making progress. I can also see which stories I'm reading and where, how they connect to other um, content areas. Um, and if there was a story that I really liked, um, and I can start building my profile, and it'll just allow me as a learner to see what stories draw my attention. Um, hopefully this has been some help. These are the reports that I use as a teacher on a daily basis or you know throughout the year to help um, my students learning and to um, increase their reading progress in my class. Um, thanks.